1226, let's get things going. We have Bob Sturm has spent most of his life talking sports. From a very early age, I was obsessed with sports. His first half was insane. And that's put a bunch of scores and facts in my head that have made me a decent living, I suppose. That's what a normal coach would do. And he shares that knowledge with the listeners. Yeah, I always As the co-host of Bob and Dan Radio, a sports talk show that airs on KTCK The Ticket in Dallas, Absolutely. Texas understands that that's part of their team. I study sports a lot, all day. You know, I try not to be a know-it-all, but at the same time, you're trying to know it all. So we'll discuss Golden State and Cleveland, the NBA Finals, and where we are next on The Ticket. Bob's sports knowledge was first tested in the early 90s when sports talk was in its infancy. We interrupt our regular schedule at this time in order to bring you this exclusive sports program from the Flames Sports Network. As a college sophomore, he pioneered Liberty University's first sports talk broadcast. Sports radio really didn't exist, so the professors didn't necessarily know what I was talking about. Even. I mean, it was really crazy back then. They were trying to figure out how to broadcast it. I don't know if this sounds possible, but in DeMoss Hall, there was one speaker. And I'm not lying. One speaker. And that was how the radio station broadcasts. You're listening to Sports Talk. The station broadcasted around the clock with one hour each night allotted for Bob to talk sports. Here's your host, Bob Sturm. Good evening, sports fans. Wednesday night, just that time again. I'm talking to Matt Hildebrand or Robbie Justino or whoever the, the athletes were on campus at the time. I'd have them on the show and we'd, we'd do sports talk and that was how I was born. <laughs> Bob Stern back here on C91 Sports Talk. I'm here with Matt Hildebrand, point guard for the Flames. And Matt, the Flames had a tough game Monday night. Uh, tell us your quick overview on that game. We came out, you know, and we were a little bit flat. Uh, it was an amazing opportunity because you kind of felt like you know, a pioneer, if you will, for a format that was just being born. But on campus, you, I was sports talk guy. But let's keep in perspective. Of the last 10 games, the Flames have won nine. For me, it allowed me to kind of get my at bats, if you will, at a small level where not everyone hears your mistakes. We're back here at C9 on Sports Talk, and we'd be silly to talk about the NHL, although that's what we love. We'd be I think if you're going to fail, which we all are at first, you should do it in a real small audience so no one can hear. So that was me and that one speaker. Those one speaker broadcasts led to a job at the local radio station in Lynchburg, Virginia. And that quickly bounced Bob to Dallas. A lot of it's LeBron in love again. Where he's been since 1998 and broadcasting to millions of speakers. Wide open shots and wide open opportunities. Yeah, but and then those people make those shots. We talk about yeah. sports, but yeah. we'll also talk about a movie or a TV show or we'll goof on each other or whatever. The whatever is Bob's way of simply giving back. And it began with a mission trip to an orphanage in Guatemala. What we did the first time is uh, spend, you know, three and a half days at an orphanage and we took shoes and pizza and whatever, you know, we just had a great time. I think I've been there 10 times now and each time I come back and I talk about it on the radio show. We have a lot of causes. We do, you know, we do some things over the course of time. I probably at first wasn't courageous enough to talk about it on the air, but once I got the courage, started talking about it, I realized so many people out there have a heart for charity or for causes or for uh, missions or whatever. And then, regardless of their belief system, they want to help. But Bob felt he could still do more. And that's when he and his wife Sally traveled to an orphanage in Honduras with plans to adopt. It was a big undertaking, but it's one that we wouldn't change it for the world. Our little guy is as much a part of our family as anyone else in our house. Our little family of five is thrilled to death uh, that uh, we have little Justin, the little guy who's now getting pretty big. You let Draymond do what he does. I didn't realize the whole purpose of having this job is to further causes that are way bigger than a baseball game or a basketball game. Is there wide open threes or dunks? Overall, it's been quite an amazing ride. And when I was at that Liberty Station with one speaker, I, I never imagined it would be this uh, in, in Dallas. It's awesome. 